This desert in North America has become the hottest place on Earth, claiming a new temperature record. It measured a whopping 80.8 degrees Celsius, that's 177 Fahrenheit. It was recorded by two satellites in 2023 that showed the hottest land surface area is located in the Sonoran Desert, Mexico, which has overtaken the previous record of 70.7 degrees Celsius, coming from the Lut Desert in Iran, which is known as one of the remotest and inhospitable places on Earth. What is shocking about the new record is that the Sonoran Desert isn't so remote. It borders the United States and has made headlines for migrants crossing the desert to reach Mexico's northern border. The Sonoran Desert is also a popular tourist destination with idyllic beaches along its coast. Unlike the desolate and inhospitable Lut Desert, more and more people have been moving to the Sonoran Desert, particularly in the southwestern United States which is seeing some of the fastest population growth rates. Infrastructure such as concrete buildings and paved roads are increasing surface temperatures, therefore using air conditioning systems have become a necessity. However, it's crazy to think that people have been living in this very hot region for thousands of years quite comfortably and without electric powered AC. Even today, only 16% of Mexicans have air conditioning units, which is in stark contrast to its neighbor, the USA when 90% of households have AC. Americans spend on average $1,346 on electricity costs to run AC systems every year, with the average unit costing $5,900. So you can see how these expenses really start to add up. Whilst this Mexican house has absolutely no energy bills to keep it cool, and it's all because they are using innovative architectural techniques combined with ancient ingenuity, some of which completely defy gravity and even baffle construction experts and scientists today. So in this video, we're going to show you how this has been made possible and we're going to take some temperature tests to see how effective this cooling system really is. So stick with us because you'll be amazed by the results. We traveled to the most southern tip of the Sonoran Desert to investigate these unique homes, which are not only highly decorative, but also engineering marvels that serve an important purpose, which is to stay pleasantly cool in a desert climate, which is extremely hot and arid most of the year. En route, we pass the most northerly circle of latitude on Earth, at which the sun can be directly overhead. This is where the hottest deserts on Earth can be found, such as the Sahara. Here the sun feels extremely fierce, so it's no surprise that this architectural style of home can be found all across the Sonoran Desert. We're outside this dome house in the desert and we'll be taking a tour to see how multiple design features help it stay cool without electric powered AC. So it's an extremely hot and sunny day here. I'm going to use this thermometer to measure the inside and outside temperatures and then compare the difference. So let's start by taking the temperature here outside on the ground. 47.2. That's really hot, much hotter than I thought it would be. Now let's go inside and measure the temperature in the dome house. Wow. It's actually really cool in here. It's so surprising since there's no air conditioning and it's a really hot day. So I'm excited to find out what the temperature really is. So let's take a temperature test here on the floor. Twenty four point two. It's a 23 degree difference. So how is this building managing to do this? Well, it's using multiple ingenious techniques and it all revolves around the most obvious feature, which is right above me. As you can see, it's a red brick dome, but it's not just any ordinary dome. That's because this unique style of dome that's been developed here in Mexico uses intricate designs of red clay bricks that undulate and dip in the corners to form symmetrical curves. Even more incredibly, the construction process is also a unique technique to Mexico, which seems to completely defy gravity. But the design isn't just for its beauty and aesthetic qualities. In fact, all the elements of its construction have a very important role to play to keep the temperatures really cool inside the house. 
The use of domes in architecture can be seen all over the world, but not just for their aesthetic beauty. They actually have a very practical use. For centuries, they have been used in traditional houses in hot and arid regions, such as the Middle East, Mediterranean Basin, and Africa. This is due to its thermal advantages, structural benefits, and the availability of construction materials. But what's really interesting about dome roofs is that scientists are still studying how useful they can be at cooling a space. They are only just starting to discover that there are multiple factors working together, contributing to their effectiveness. One discovery is that geometry plays a really important role. The spherical shape of these roofs actually cause the wind velocity to increase over them. Furthermore, the solar energy absorbed by dome roofs causes its temperature to rise above the ambient air temperature. Then the wind blowing over the dome increases the convection heat transfer to the ambient air. The heat loss from the roof is increased by thermal radiation to the sky. The rest of the heat absorbed by the dome is conducted through the dome material, so they stay warm during cold nights. This is more effective when using clay brick as the primary building material, like they have done in this house. Bricks have high thermal mass and slow heat transfer. Here they have also used double layering by covering the brick with a white plaster. The thick layers slow down heat transfer, preventing rapid temperature fluctuations. To see how this dome is fully working, we need to go up onto the roof. Around the dome they built this wall. This shades the bottom of the dome, keeping it cooler and it helps with the thermal dynamics making the heat rise to the top of the dome. But at the end of the wall you can see it's actually raised at every corner. This is creating even more shade on each corner of the dome. Another interesting element is that a portion of the curved roof is shaded and protected from the sun. This mostly happens during the morning and late afternoon. The shaded side will be cooler, whilst the other side of the dome facing the sun will receive heat gain with solar radiation. As you can see, the dome is painted white like the rest of the house. The reflective property of the colour white helps to maintain cooler indoor temperatures. By reducing the amount of heat transferred through the walls, preventing excessive heat absorption and keeping interiors cool. Here we have the oculus on the top of the dome. The oculus in the centre of the dome is not only a stunning vocal point which allows direct light to come inside, but it also allows fresh air to enter the dome. As warm air rises, it escapes through the oculus, creating a natural ventilation system. Cooler air from below replaces the rising warm air, promoting circulation and maintaining a comfortable indoor environment. The ingenious aerodynamics of domes promotes passive heating and cooling, making them 30-40% to 40 more energy efficient than flat roof homes. Considering that 40% of the world's energy use goes towards heating and cooling buildings, we could really do with constructing more domes today. But what is fascinating about this particular dome is its unique Mexican style. This technique relies solely on clay tiles, often called leaning bricks, and skilled craftsmanship. Builders lay the first layer of light bricks lengthwise in space without any formwork or centering. A fast setting mortar allows the bricks to hold themselves in place after being tapped into position. Mexican brick vaults offer an economical solution for housing that possesses an architectural elegance and beauty due to their graceful curves, which continue to intrigue mathematicians due to their mathematical properties. Even though dome buildings are complicated, they're actually easy for everyone to understand because they are doing things that we are all aware of. But these days, people are scared of maths and physics. Taking the time to practice subjects that are challenging can help overcome fear. Maths and algebra are not my strong points, so that's why I use this app called Brilliant. It teaches you subjects from maths, science, data code and AI language models. The best part is you can test yourself before moving on to the next question. This way, you'll never get confused or left behind. What's great is that you're learning through problem solving, not memorizing, which helps to build real knowledge and become a better thinker. The math measurement lesson helped me to recognize the relationship between different shapes to find angle measurements, side lengths, and areas without calculations. What I love best is that I could apply visual problem solving techniques for deduction using symmetry and transformations. When I don't know the answer, Brilliant helps me with hints. 
I really like that I can learn at my own pace without any fear of being too slow or that I'll get the answer wrong. Learning geometry can be a launch pad to everything from architectural design to computer graphics, data clustering and even AI algorithms. Our sponsor of today's video, Brilliant, takes complex lessons and breaks it down into easily digestible and fun ways to learn. To try everything, Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days. Visit brilliant.org forward slash leaf of life or click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription.